Well, two teens have been shot in less than a week in Baltimore, which just recorded its 100th murder of the year. New at noon, the mayor and the commissioner just released new information about the 16-year-old murdered yesterday on a rec center basketball court. And WJZ investigator Mike Elgin is live at that scene, the Mary Rodman Rec Center in southwest Baltimore, with what we just learned. Mike? Denise, the mayor and commissioner say the teenager was armed. It's really a horrible scene because I'm standing just about right where it happened. Let me get out of the way so you can see. They've got candy strewn on the ground, uh, gloves where they worked on the victim. Just horrible. Uh, the mayor and commissioner said this is an urgent call to put down the guns in the city. The 16-year-old shot at a basketball court at the Mary Rodman Rec Center just after 8 last night had a weapon on him. Mayor Pugh spoke about the case this morning. We've got too many illegal guns on our streets. 470 some odd illegal guns picked up off of our streets, and including last evening, uh, the teenager who had a gun in his purse uh, on himself, from my understanding. And this was not somebody just playing on a basketball court, but let me just say this to you all. No child, no child, no death in this city is acceptable. And we've got to get guns out of the hands of our children. The commissioner says he doesn't believe the teen victim shot back, that the gun was in his pocket. He says the victim was well known to police in the area. He's the second teen shot in Baltimore in four days. On Saturday, Ray Glasgow, the third, the lacrosse captain at City College High School, was gunned down on Eden Street near the Perkins homes. Police say he was not the intended target, and they're still looking for his killers in a white two door Nissan Altima connected to the case. Glasgow's teammates played an emotional city championship game on Monday. The last time I saw him was last week when we went to see him off the prom. And the last thing I I told him was that I loved him and that I wanted him to have fun and to enjoy himself. And it's just wrong because my cousin didn't do nothing. Glasgow will be buried Friday as Baltimore marks a grim milestone, the city's 100th murder of 2018. My family is heartbroken and we just want to know why. The 16-year-old has not been identified. The commissioner says he is not just a number. They want to solve this case. And by the way, Denise, this happened right next door to an elementary school. We're live in southwest Baltimore. Mike Halgren, WJZ. Thank you, Mike. If you know anything about these cases, you can call Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKUP, and you can remain anonymous.